Today is the first lunar eclipse of 2020. On this occasion, let's understand what is a lunar eclipse and how it occurs. Today, countries in Europe, Africa, Asia and Australia will witness a penumbral lunar eclipse. Now, what is a penumbral lunar eclipse? I'll tell you about it in a while. Before that, I'll explain what exactly is a lunar eclipse. The first thing that you have to know is that lunar eclipse occurs only on the night of a full moon. In India, full moon night is called Purnima. Now what happens is when the moon is between earth and the sun, if the moon blocks the sunlight, then we call it solar eclipse. Eclipse means blocking the light. That means during solar eclipse, the moon blocks the sunlight for earth. When it comes to a lunar eclipse, the earth blocks the sunlight for the moon. That means the earth has to be in between the sun and the moon. A solar eclipse occurs during daytime and a lunar eclipse occurs during nighttime. So this is what the eclipse is all about. Now let's understand what is a penumbral lunar eclipse. So there are two definitions that we have to look at. One is the umbra and the other is the penumbra. Umbra means the inner region of a shadow. Let's say if I stand in front of you and the amount of area that I'm covering for you so that no light falls on you, that region is called the umbra. And penumbra means the outer region where partial light will fall. And these two definitions have to be seen in context of an eclipse. So if this is the sun and this is the earth, the shadow region of the earth is called umbra. The outer region of umbra is the penumbra. Now when we say penumbral lunar eclipse, that means the earth is not fully blocking the sunlight for the moon. In other words, the sun, the earth and the moon are imperfectly aligned. There are three kinds of lunar eclipses, total, partial and penumbral. In a total eclipse of the moon, the inner part of the earth's shadow, which is called the umbra, falls on the moon's face. In a partial lunar eclipse, the umbra takes a bite out of only a fraction of the moon. The dark bite grows larger and then recedes, never reaching the total phase. In a penumbral lunar eclipse, only the outer shadow of Earth, which is called the penumbra, falls on the moon's face. This third kind of lunar eclipse is much more difficult to observe. One more important point to note is that any eclipse, be it a solar or a lunar eclipse, they do not happen every month because if you look at the orbital pattern of moon, it looks something like this. Basically, the moon's orbit wobbles. Its velocity varies and alters, which creates different angles during its rotation. And as you see, sometimes the moon is too high above the Earth's shadow, and sometimes it is low. And this is why eclipses don't happen every month. I hope you found this video informative. Enjoy the eclipse if you can sacrifice a good night's sleep. Alright then, thanks for watching.